On Tuesday, May 2nd, a draft opinion from the Supreme Court was leaked that indicates that the court will overturn Roe versus Wade. Right now, the issue of abortion is on everyone's mind, and there's a whirlwind of speculation, accusation, and confusion across the country. Here's what you need to know. First and most importantly, this decision will not end abortion in the United States. And it will not put an end to women finding themselves in unexpected pregnancies and needing support and real resources to choose life. Now is the time for the church to rise up and serve like never before. Now is our chance to be like the Good Samaritan and care for those hurting in our communities in practical ways. The reasons why women choose abortion are not going away, but thankfully, neither are the answers. Women overwhelmingly choose abortion for three main reasons. As a response to financial crisis. Two, because of direct pressure from people in her life, like her parents or partner. And because of a fear of how her life will change as a result of having a baby. This is where the church can step in and be the solution and support that she needs. She needs your compassion and for you to be present in her life. She needs resources and financial support to help her see a way through her immediate situation and to find stability and security she needs a loving community to help her see hope in the future and not give in to the lies. Every church can do the following three things right now. Learn, speak, and act. First, learn. Equip yourself and your church to fully understand the abortion issue and how the pro-life movement is holistically caring for women. Save the Storks has several resources for you and your church community to be educated on this topic and feel confident discussing it. Secondly, speak. Be bold in advocating for the vulnerable, both personally and publicly. Simply by saying something compassionate about unplanned pregnancies lets women in your community know that your church is a safe place for them. When you speak, do it courageously, but also compassionately, and avoid shaming or judgmental language. Remember that four out of 10 women who have had an abortion were regularly attending church at the time. They're still in our pews, and they are still hurting silently. Finally, act. Be intentional about reaching out to women in your community who are in an unexpected pregnancy. Make an action plan for your church to be ready to serve these women. There are thousands of pregnancy centers across the country, and there's a good chance there's one in your community. Search for them online, get to know them, and find out how you can serve them. Some churches around the country have even launched their own stork bus ministries to offer tangible care to women in their area. Now is the time for the church to be known for our love. This is our Good Samaritan moment. Let's rise to the occasion and show the world we are here to lead the way in serving. Find out how Save the Storks can come alongside your church and help you reach women in your community by going to savethestorks.com.